Oh gosh. The road has been really busy. Everybody's been out for the weekend. It's just caravans, trailers, rooftop tents, people heading back home towards Cape Town. And we're heading in the opposite direction. But the road is quite busy through here. We've passed through Worcester. We're now in Robertson. And you know, you know we can't we can't help ourselves. We have to stop at the Offy Plas uh, farm stall. So we got ourselves some pies and coffee and oh, just yeah. having a break. So it's our pie, coffee, and then we've got some pudding, some fudge squares for pudding. You know, very civilized. <laughs> mm. It's like 10 to 1, so it really is very civilized to just sit down and have a bit of a have a bit of a lunch. Oh, gives his own a bit of a break from the driving as well. Yo, you know, when you get back on the toll roads and the main routes, wow, then you realize how many cars there are. Oh, I have not missed the cars, hey? The gravel roads, oh, give me a gravel road any day. I love it. But anyway, pie now first. Well, we have arrived at Bontebok to complete our circle where we started. We started here and now we're ending off here. Well, not really ending off. We are going to go and explore down to Agullis. But, my word, I just have to say this. I have never seen Bontebok National Park as busy as what it is today. We just queued for 25 minutes to get, uh, you know, to get help, to get booked in. Yes, sure. <gasps> And there's still about three lots of people behind us that are still waiting to be booked in. And yes. Listen, yes. You know what? We what? must. Everybody must have watched our YouTube channel. <gasps> and now Clearly. they loved our Born to Book episode of like long ago, and now yes. they're all here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So if you want people to come to your accommodation, establishment, lodge, caravan, park, campsite, whatever you. One, just invite us and you know the streams of people follow. <laughs> oh, yes. oh dear, okay. Whatever. <sighs> Jokes aside, at least we're here and uh, we could get a we could get a place. So that's good. Yes. Good morning everybody here from Bontebok National Park. Hello! We have sunglasses on our head. I don't know why. Because it is raining. Oh, it is miserable. Welcome to the coast. Yes, it's that really drear fest set in drizzly rain, low sky overcast that just sort of depresses you today. But we're not going to be caught by depression today. We are heading out and we are going to the southern tip of Africa at Agullis. We have arrived in a very wet Bredaarsdorp. I don't know if we're going to have much success at the southern tip because as we've been coming along it's been pretty much white out in certain patches. Oh you can't even see the little mountain, little hill here in front of you. It's just all cloudy, misty rain. Yes, it really is an extremely miserable day today. Wow, it's now not exactly the the day that we should have perhaps gone out to the southern tip but it's the day that we have so, so you know do what we can do when we yes. do it <laughs> that. Right, we go down here yes yes and then we should be in the direction of Streisby and Agullis We're just going to a gullis and going to hope that at least we can see the southern tip through all the drear. Yes. Well, just think, you know, 
all the other photos you've seen of the southern tip is usually you know obviously it's always very windy so it's windy and but the sun is shining and it's beautiful pictures but now our picture is going to be all dreary how fantastic <laughs> is that that's unique well now we're in stress bar it's still dripping spitting and spotting pizzeria restaurant oh pizzeria oh I'm hungry. There's the sea. Oh, it looks colder than it actually usually looks, and it usually looks cold. Are you hungry again? Maybe you should ooh, stop. Fish, fish and chips. Yes, at the surf shop and coffee oh, and a restaurant. Ooh, here's a restaurant. Old Cape. Oh no, they look closed. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, they're closed. Sorry for you. They're closed. Well, I think we'll just pass on through uh, Strais Bay. Mm. Oh, and it's a house for sale, you can buy it for Libya. Uh, looking at today, I don't want to live, you know. <laughs> you don't do uh, uh, house shopping <laughs> when rain. it's dreary, yes. Or maybe you, you do. do. Then you can see where the leaks are. Yes, and the rising damp and all those things, yes. And the dark little corners <laughs> where you always have to have a light on. <laughs> On our way back, we can probably go and have a look at the Strays by Harb Harbour. Yes, let's first go to the southern tip. Yes. And colours, here we come. Here we are officially in a gullis. Yes. Welcome to the little town at the southern tip of Africa. Well, at least it's not raining at the moment. Yeah. Here we are. Glad I'm not camping at the Agulhas Caravan Park now. <laughs> yes. Which is just beyond these white buildings on the right. At least the left. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Got my right and left mixed up just like that. Crazy. Oh wow, there is some massive construction thing happening here by the lighthouse. Oh, wow. And now? Can we go? Here's the Agulhas uh, National Park. Uh, thank, you. thank you. I suppose we'll just float on yes, by. Yes, I guess so. Uh, we have to go down the side here. At least you can still drive around here, which is great. We are. So you can go to the southern tip. Oh, <laughs> now it's starting to rain again. Oh no. Oh. oh no. There's the lighthouse. Modeled on the Poros of Alexandria, which was the lighthouse in Alexandria, at the northern tip of Africa in Egypt, one of the ancient wonders of the world. Ancient Seven Wonders of the World. Where do we park? Um, I don't know, I suppose. Well, I think you can drive pretty close. I'm, I'm, yes. I mean, there are these boardwalks that you can walk all the way, like from the lighthouse to the to the southern tip, but it's a yes. bit drizzly, you know. Yes, so we'll try and get the closest that we can. And of course, you know, we are South Africans, so you know, if we if a drop of rain falls on us, we scream and like, oh, we're gonna melt, we're gonna melt. Huh? That's know? true, um, yes. But at least these two are South Africans. <laughs> but anyway, here we go, southern tip of Africa. 
wheel drive. Because, you yes. know, I just want to drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why well, walk there if you can drive there? <laughs> Well, today is exceptional circumstances. Yes. We would have walked otherwise. Oh, absolutely, yes. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh there's busy, busy, quite busy. a number of people here. Oh. So we're not the only crazy people to come to the southern tip in such absolute dreary weather. Oh. I think I'll stop facing the sea, shall I? Right, why not? There we go. Oh, delicious. Oh, made it. It's not that cold, yeah? I thought it would be colder. Yes. Everybody else seems to be um, dressed up for winter. And uh, we look a little out of place with shorts and t-shirts here. <laughs> we look a little odd, I think. I kind of feel a bit funny now. <laughs> no, it's just because we're big and strong, you see. You're big and strong. Of course, yes. See, I wore my, my Cross Africa t-shirt to match the southern tip of Africa today. See, fantastic. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Africa. Yes, here it is. It's full of the Great Lakes today. <laughs> oh, that's true. It's tight. Yes, all the Great Lakes have been filled. You see the Karoo Basin, the Karoo Basin, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> Here. And you are here. Yes, right okay. at the southern tip of Africa. Okay. So you want to you want to go to the western? Or the, yes, or well, the eastern? Know. Or the northern? <laughs> Why not? Where's Kili? Yeah. Here's Kili. Yeah. Yes. That must be Kili. And that must be Mount Kenya. Yeah, probably Mount Kenya. And what would that one be, Mount? I'm not sure. Mount Meru? Mount Meru. Maybe. I think, you know, with that cone in the... Yes, the so. cone of Mount Meru, yes. Well, I've been on top of Kili once before, and I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> And now suppose to the horn. Yes. The, the eastern horn of tip. Africa. The horn of Africa, here we are. Here yep. We are. We are. This is a, a one minute tour of Africa. Yes. Welcome to Egypt. Oh yes. The Nile Delta. The Nile Delta. Here we go. Here you we're, are. we're in Egypt now. Okay. Uh-huh. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we're going across here because you know you can't go across here actually in real yes, life in real life but we can now yes we can just walk across to morocco yeah morocco i'm sure these must be the atlas mountains hmm likely yes yeah over here yes welcome to morocco mm-hmm are you heading on down to a senegal uh, to dakar yes yeah let's do the dakar yes, yes. Let's do the Dakar. Yeah, we're just doing the Dakar. Where's Senegal? I have no idea. <laughs> it's somewhere around here because that's on the um, western most point of Africa yeah. somewhere. So yes. there we're on the westernmost point. Welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Round oh. we go. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> You're walking in the lakes. Okay. Here's the equator. Not? Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this yes. line. Yeah, this line, yeah. Yeah. South and north. Yes. North and south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So you're going to cross the equator? Yes, yeah, shall I? <laughs> okay, and that was your one minute tour of Africa? Yes. Wasn't that fantastic? Mm. Mm. Exciting. Let's go to the southern tip. The place where the Indian and the Atlantic Oceans meet. 
Now, people get this wrong all the time and they say it's at Cape Point near Cape Town. It's not, it's here. Yes, this is officially where the two oceans meet. And here you wait your turn to get um, snapped at the southern tip. Yes. You know, there you are. Do as you must, you know. There's your shot. There's my shot. You, you see, I've got my t-shirt on today. There yes, <laughs> your t-shirt. Yes. You are here. There. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now, I'm, you more go? I'm more south than you. Yes, yeah, you are. There we go. There's the lighthouse. Eighteen forty eight. Lighthouse Cape Agulhas. This lighthouse sighted on the most dangerous part of the South African coast was completed in 1849 at an approximate cost of 12,000 pounds. Pounds, yes. It's the second oldest lighthouse in South Africa. Hmm. I didn't know that. Wow, okay. Where go? We're here, so why not? Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Slowly like a ladder. Put a light up here. <laughs> Are you good? Well, yeah, yeah, the bag's just <laughs> sort of got a hook to it. Oh but yes, it's it's quite tight up here. There we go. Okay. First level. Up we go. There we go. Two down. Number three. Here we go. Yes, I think this is the last one, not? I think this is and the then you get to the, the ladder. ladder. Yeah. The actual ladder. Yes. Shall so I go first? Up through the hole. Oh, through the hole. Okay. Oh. One would imagine that of climbing up and down to the rooftop, this would be a, not a problem. There we go. I'm quite blustery out here. Yeah, it's windy. Whew. Let's close this one. Yeah. Phew, he is a bit of a bluster. Sure, it's windy, eh? <laughs> Sure. Now you can see all the way down to the southern tip. Okay, is it time to go back? Let's go back. Oh, I feel all like salty. <laughs> <laughs> the sea breeze has got you. Ew. Okay. In you go. Hop in the door. Oh, there we go. Inside the lighthouse, just underneath the actual lens. Wow, oh, that's blustery. It's very blustery. Sure. It's incredibly blustery. Okay, so now we just got to get back down. Yes. Down. Oh, here's all the lighthouses all around the coastline of South Africa. Oh, we should do a lighthouse tour, you know? From lighthouse to lighthouse. Yes, absolutely. The huge lens here, the lantern from Dusson Island, it says.
47,000 candles. That's a lot of candles. Yeah. See these little light house that we yeah, that we saw. We saw that. We so far, that again, far again. away. Yes. So we just went up 71 steep steps. Yes. Very fantastic. According to a board I only saw afterward. But yeah. there you go. <laughs> no, the tower is supposed to be 27 meters yeah. up, and it throws a light 30 nautical miles. Yes. Most of the lighthouses looks to me on the most dangerous points around the coastline are the ones that have a 30 nautical mile uh, light sweeping radius. Yes. Mm. All these lighthouses are still actually in use. Mm -hmm. This one's the second oldest and then the oldest one is the one in Cape Town. Greenpoint? Yes. yes. Yeah. It's yeah. the oldest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's walk okay. up there. Yeah. Well, I guess mm. we should head back down. Or? Yes, I think so. Before it starts to rain again. And now we're at the bottom. Cool, that was super fun. That was super fun. Yes, yes. And apparently that fake sort of entrance at the bottom of the tower there is modeled after the entrance to the tomb of Isis in Egypt because the guy who designed the tower was very influenced by Egypt. Yeah. There it is. Goodbye, lighthouse. now that was a lovely lunch at the Zeitz Karp restaurant as we reverse out here <gasps> go, and go, go. It, yes, it became so busy <gasps> wow. wow yeah it's almost full now yes it's incredible the poor waitress has run off her feet so once again I say you have a business employ us we'll come and sit there and everybody come yeah. else. <laughs> Because we were the only people there, now it's full. <laughs> yes, yeah. I said to Lindsay, it's Hamilton standing outside, that sexy beast that's drawing them all in towards the restaurant. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're heading back. Well, now here we are, back again at Bontebok. And thank goodness for our little chalet over here, because... Well, it would have been a total disaster if we were camping. Very nice little place. Look out over... There it is, over the Breda River. Comfy. So that's it for this series, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. Definitely, yes. It was a very spontaneous trip there was no plan we just sort of took it as it came and uh, moved as opportunities arose so that made it a little different and a great deal of fun for us mm -hmm. so we really hope that you enjoyed it um, and we just want to say thank you to everybody who watched who subscribed who commented liked it really really helps us out it helps to grow the channel it helps to show YouTube that people are watching people are liking it and they show it to more people the more likes we get and the more interaction we get on the channel so just thank you very very much 
Yes, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Anyway, so yes, that is it, and we are going to be signing off and saying thank you once again, and we will see you all further down the road. road.